We just thought we ought to prepare you and more or less put you in the mood. Thank you. And now back to our story. Everybody, welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be on the preparation of a silver 2 complex called bis 110 phenantholine silver 2 persulfate. With silver typically being in the plus 1 oxidation state, silver 2 is uncommon yet not unheard of. You may have already heard of the silver 2 pyridine persulfate complex that explosions and fire prepared a while back. In this video, I do make the mistake of not using gloves, and while not inherently dangerous in this particular situation, I advise against doing this yourself. It's just bad lab practice. Regardless though, we are starting out now by dissolving silver nitrate in distilled water. This is going to be our source of silver for this reaction. The procedure I followed did not give exact amounts on the materials used, it just said two equivalents of an aqueous solution of orthophenanthroline are added to a solution of silver nitrate. So that's what I did. I used two grams of silver nitrate and two grams of orthophenanthroline. And while orthophenanthroline isn't particularly soluble in water, I tried my best. In the end, it looks like it worked out anyway. Eventually, I did the opposite of the paper, and I added the silver nitrate solution to the orthophenanthroline uh, mixture, let's say. And it formed sort of a scrambled egg-looking solid, and I believe this is a silver-1 complex of some sort. While this mixture is stirring, I measured out well, about 5 or so grams of ammonium persulfate. The procedure, again, doesn't require any specific amount, so I just went with 5 grams. Now that I've got a concentrated solution of ammonium persulfate, I'm going to add it slowly to the mixture of what appears to be scrambled egg, which will then form a dark brown liquid, almost, that looks like hot chocolate. Huh, go figure. Once all the persulfate has been added, we are left with a fine chocolate brown precipitate 
of our silver 2 complex. This can then be filtered off and dried. Now with our dry final product, we can do a test. The procedure says that the product is readily soluble without decomposition, which doesn't make very much sense, in cold concentrated nitric acid yielding a dark brown solution from which the perchlorate may be precipitated by addition of concentrated sodium perchlorate solution. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any sodium perchlorate, but I do have quite a bit of magnesium perchlorate, so that's what I'm going to try to use. Unfortunately, this did not produce any precipitate, and I'm not super surprised by this. The conditions are pretty dilute here. And when I concentrated things up a little bit later, I found that I got a precipitate. So I think that it worked. Thank you as always for watching. Your support is appreciated and especially the support of those of you who help me out on Patreon. Videos like this aren't cheap, but y'all make it pretty easy. So thank you. Couldn't do it without you. I'll see y'all in the next video.